Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is DB, and today we've had some update on Season 17, so I thought I'd just chuck a video together around when does it start, when does Season 16 end, what's in Season 17. So, hey, let's just jump straight in and find out what's going on. So the first thing is that Season 16 ends on Sunday, May the 12th, and Season 17 now starts on next Friday on May the 17th. It's kind of a really quick announcement. They usually give us like two weeks, but they're just hitting us straight up with a, no, let's do it now. So what is in Season 17? Well, Season 17 is the legacy of Nightmares. And what that does is whenever you have an ancient item, and you only have that set, the Legacy of Nightmares set, active, you get 750% damage added per ancient item within your build. So it's a really powerful build. I suspect things like uh, Witch Doctor and Necromancer are going to be really strong this year. Crusaders might have a bit of a buff with the Thorns build. Uh, there's lots of little changes as well, but I'm just going to cover off all the major ones right now. So the first one is, there's a search bar going into the stash that i tell you now will save me hours and hours of searching for a friggin puzzle ring it is mwah, a master stroke by blizzard thank you Whew, thank god for that next up we have hadric's gift so for barbarians it's might of the earth crusader thorns of the invoker demon hunter shadows mantle monk monkey king's grab necromancer grace of inarius Witch Doctor, Remnant of Jade Harvester, and Wizard are going to get the Firebirds. So, they're going to be useful just getting your character up to a certain level, uh, getting you to help with the Paragon points, but as soon as you start hitting Ancient Items, you're just going to drop this set as quickly as you can, because it's going to give you a huge buff. So, another thing is that they've added another three Torment levels in. So, we have Torment 14, 15, and 16. This is going to give you uh, more experience, gold, blood shards, um, and you get better rewards from bounties and Nephilim rifts. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's quite good. I think it had a little bit of a rough start. I think people were a little bit, mm, don't really need extra torment levels, but I think for late game, you do. Uh, it does get boring, it does get stale, hitting 13 all the time, thinking that's the best you're going to get. Uh, up to 16, so that's up to uh, Greater Rift level 75. So that's a, it's still a good challenge. Um, yeah, I think it's not, not too bad. The Galactic Wings are back from Season 5. If you didn't complete the um, Season 5 journey, uh, the Galactic Wings are now back for Season 17, which is a nice nostalgic touch if you've already got them. Uh, I actually didn't get them in Season 5, so I am looking forward to grabbing myself some of these wings. And the final thing that I want to cover off for you guys is the Challenge Rift. This year, uh, sorry, this season... I say you, I've said it twice now. Uh, in this season, you get larger drops in the cash. So you get 35 death breaths, um, and you get some more blood shards, more money, etc. So what you need to do for that is do not do Monday's challenge rift. Wait until Friday to do it after you've created your seasonal character. If you want to look for a guide from 0 to 70, check that out. Read the comments as well, some really helpful tips and hints there. I hope this has been informative for you and you get an understanding of what's coming up over the next few months now, I guess. It's going to be three months. Um, my name is DB. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all again soon.